good morning and jain the students this i am kanchan your english teacher this time i have taken the poem for explanation rain on the roof by coats skinny so uh, this poem is from the book beehive and today i will uh, explain it so here when the humid shower shadows hover over all the starry spheres and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears what a bliss to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead this poem is about rainy season you can see here it is raining the poet says when the black clouds full of rain drops they move in the sky sky that is full of stars then we just imagine and we say that it is about to rain and then those black clouds are melancholy means sad and they are dark clouds and dark clouds they are sad so gently weeps in rainy tears it means ki rain drops are just like tears of uh, black clouds so as clouds are weeping so here personification is here because uh, black clouds uh, are representing here as a human being who are weeping so what a bliss to press the pillow the poet is saying ki at that time i just press the pillow and lie down in my room in my bedroom cottage chamber means bedroom in my bed and i enjoy that pattering sound of rain drops beating sound of the rain drops on my roof so it is about the poet's feeling now if we see the figure of speech so here humid har here alliteration is here star spears alliteration is here because sa sound is repeating ha sound is repeating and then press pillow again it is pa sound so alliteration is here so uh, and here uh, personification because black clouds are dark clouds are weeping so it is personification also it is uh, epithet transferred epithet because actually black dark uh, dark uh, clouds are not uh, said actually those people who are Uh, who are in problem in rainy season they they feel sad and we come to know about the rhyming scheme hover spear darkness tears so here a b c b then d then bed and head uh, head okay d e f e so this is your rhyming scheme now stanza 2 every tinkle on the shingles has an echo in the heart and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and a thousand recollections weave their air thread into woof as i listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof so here the poet is saying ki tinkling tinkling means ringing sound jo bahut achhi si awaaz aati hai tan tan ki awaaz so ringing sound of the rain drops on the shingles means pebbles so here shingle means pebbles जो 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 ऊपर रूफ पर जो पत, जो रेन ड्रॉप्स की आवाज आती है टप टप खटखट की आवाज टिंकलिंग साउंड रिंगिंग साउंड दैट इज दैट इज वेरी नाइस एंड इट इज रिपीटिंग इन द हर्ट ऑफ द पोएट और वो बहुत खुश होकर सुन रहा है एंड ए थाउजेंड ड्रीमिंग एट दैट टाइम ही वॉज ड्रीमिंग ड्रीमिंग एंड इन हिज ड्रीम सो मेनी इमेजि इमेजिनेशंस आर बिजी and uh, they are weaving like uh, yahan pe here woof woof means uh, to to weave something aur jo ki ek loom ek machine hoti hai us par buna jata to wo apne mind ko isse compare kar raha hai ki is tarah se mere dimag mein bhi bahut sare imaginations aate hain and they weave uh, in my they they view imaginations and uh, rec- uh, memories they they recall memories and they weave imaginations in my mind just like air threads into woof 
so as i listen to the pattern again he is saying that as i listen to the pattern pattering sound of uh, the raindrops i feel very happy and i lie down in my bed so here again pattering sound is here on mat piya on mat piya when we read and we feel uh, sound of something so we call it on mat piya here thousand brim into busing and thousand recollections beaming their air thread their thread so it is here pattering sound okay here it is uh, on mat piya see here busy being so here alliteration is here on on mat piya is here pattering sound and then thousand recollections weave their air thread here is metaphor because he the, because the poet has compared his mind uh, to a wolf rhyming scheme will be same as in the first stanza next in the uh, stanza 3 now in memory comes my mother as she used in years ago to regard the darling dreamers ere she left them till the dawn oh i feel her fond look on me as i list to the this refrain which is played upon the shingles by by the patter of the rain so here poet is recalling his mother when he lay down in his bed then he recalls his mother wo apni mother ko yaad karta tha kar raha tha and uh, as his mother used to touch with affection with with uh, affection to him and his uh, brothers and sisters aur unki mother morning time tak un logon ko sota hua chhod deti thi and uh, she would touch with affection oh i feel her fond look to yahan pe again he is remembering his mother wo apni mother ko yaad kar rahe hain ki how his mother was uh, touching with affection he rememorizes his memories when he listens the pattering sound of the rain drops again patter is here so patter is here again uh, on mat piya and stanza 3 here metaphor is also uh, darling dreamers so darling darling dreamers is for for uh, for mothers children in mean it means poets brothers and sisters so it is metaphor here and uh, and rhyming scheme will be same so i hope you would have understood very well this poem is about the rain drops कि कैसे पोएट उसको याद मतलब महसूस करता है रेन ड्रॉप्स को उसकी आवाज को पसंद करता है और देन ही रिकॉल्स हिज मदर वो अपनी मदर को याद करता है कि कैसे आकर के उसको टच किया करती थी थैंक यू एंड जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स